So I had mentioned in another video that I use a 10 megahertz reference here on my bench, uh, a GPS disciplined oscillator, and I have it feeding all three of my communication service monitors, the uh, Roden Swartz CMU200 there, the uh, HP8920, and the IFR1200, and I also have it uh, feeding my HP8647A RF signal generator. Um, and I'm just going to show it to you. I was going to put it on a shelf above all this, but I just haven't got around to building a shelf uh, to add more equipment. So I have it set up behind my all my equipment here. And here she is. So the disciplined oscillator feeds this distribution amplifier right below it. And then from there, I have four outputs going to the equipment I just mentioned. And uh, yeah, it just keeps everything on frequency. And I think the next thing I want to do is maybe pick up a uh, different frequency counter than the one that I have. I, I really love this leader frequency counter, but uh, it doesn't have a 10 megahertz reference input. That would be really cool if I could find one at a decent price that had a 10 megahertz reference input. And usually they're three or four hundred dollars used on eBay, so I just haven't uh, pulled the trigger on one yet to. Uh, to put here on the bench but I will eventually I'll just see if I can wait around and find a a decent deal on one and uh oh I forgot also I have this arbitrary waveform generator also has a 10 megahertz reference input so out of the back of the HP 8647A there is a uh, 10 megahertz reference out so I have the reference in going in and the reference out feeds the arbitrary waveform generator so basically everything that I have here on the bench that's generating any frequencies has a 10 megahertz reference input which is which is nice so I just thought I'd give that a quick look at so everybody could see um, but yeah so uh, like I said one day I'll pick up a different frequency counter and with a 10 megahertz reference input and add that to the bench we're just still looking but anyway 73 is all you 